All right, so this is a new video on how to access your uh, menu options. What you want to do is I'll open this guy up. Oh, this other way. Yeah. Open this guy up. Turn off the arcade. Flick it off. It's gonna be a little hole here on the side of the side of the thing here. You can see a little hole here, and I was just trying to find myself a pen. You could use a pen, you could use a screwdriver, or whatever. But there's this little blue thing in there, and you can see it says uh, one through four. And you hit the number four dip switch over and turn to the on position. So there you go. It's in that on position. Is I'm trying to get the thing. That what you do there? Turn it on. What you do from there? Come on over. I'm trying to do this quick, so I'm kind of hurrying up. Hurrying up here. I got to wrap this guy up. You push your uh, to navigate. You push the second button, and what that does is it takes you to the next screen and the next screen. So you come to this screen, and with your joystick, you navigate. Uh, you highlight whatever you want to change up. So you pretty much just go through this guy. So what you're going to want to do to uh, change your coin options or demo music or cocktails. If you want to go to free play, just, just go down, go to free play. Bam. Switch it out. Push yes. With this button, number one button, you can flick out, change it out every time you push it. Right now we're setting yours up to no, so you have a coin option, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we can set it up to free play if you want later, so no big deal. But that's how you do that. Then if you want to go through each game, you go through Miss Pac-Man. You can change out the live. You can make it go slower or faster. You highlight it. Again, push the first button. And it makes it go faster normal. In this case, we're making them fast. So it'll be kick-ass. So we're going to be... I'm going to show you the rest of them. You, you can just go through each one of these individually. Every time you're done with one, push the number one one or two start button, either one, and it'll say set up OK in the screen here. So that's, there you go. So you got to do that before you hit the last, uh, you don't have to do it every time you do a game, you get into a game. All right, now see this guy here. Now anything with parentheses, that's going to be all original games. You're going to have all your speed in the normal setting. So all of them are like that, like Junior Pac-Man, normal. Pac-Man Plus, normal speed. Here's your volume control. Um, this this allows you you go up or down. You, you just use your joystick to to raise or lower the volume. It's pretty cool, very simple. And once you're done with that, again, all you got to do is push your player one start button. To make it kind of loud, so you can play, but I like to keep it maybe 47, 48, because it's not too loud and get so damn annoying. But it is pretty neat though. Put it maybe at 50. I'll leave it there. And then last screen, you gotta push the last, this is like your last option, your last uh, uh, chance to push the start button and okay it. So you wanna go here and then start it up, man. You gotta set up okay it. Otherwise, if you go to the last page, you're gonna lose all your settings. So I'm gonna go to the last page and what this is is an IO test screen and it allows you to figure out whether your buttons are working or not. So you go up, down, left, right. It's gonna be your joystick. Player one start, player one switch one. That's your button button number one, button number two. So button number one is your switch one. Button number two is your switch two. It's pretty easy. Switch three and switch three and switch four are just non-existent. Uh, so the same idea with the uh, up and down, left, right for the second player. We have the coin door one. We have the test switch one. You know they have the service and coin. So that's pretty cool. Has has that. So so either way, yeah. So that that's that's the end of the video. I'm kind of showing you there what we're doing. And here's a little walk around of our of our machine here. We have a little on and off switch, the money uh, little coin button we put on here, and we put a test mode switch on this so you could enter this menu easily. And and there you go. So that's pretty much pretty much the the end of the the uh, the video there, but. Guys, I'm gonna have a, show you how to set it back up. Go back out of your menu. It's pretty much just go in reverse. Just push the number four dip switch off. Turn this guy off. Wait five seconds. One, 
Mm-hmm. And turn it back on. And there it goes again. The little energy star monitor on there. That's pretty cool. A little lace here, and here we go. It's uh, system initial initialization. Okay, it's starting up again. It's going to go 1 through 60, and once it hits 60, it'll finalize, and it'll take you to your menu. So uh, that's the uh, the end of our video. We'll see you later.